Okay, good evening everyone. Welcome to Troy Logic. It's been a long time, been a bit too long, but we're doing another audio commentary tonight. So we'll first go around the team. How are you doing, Marty? Terrible, considering what we're about to watch. Yep, and Kitch? I'm doing okay. And Zilla, how so are you far. doing? <laughs> I'm filled with foreboding. Okay, just to let everyone know what it is, we're doing an audio commentary to go along with What the Bleep, and it's the Down the Rabbit Hole edition. I'm sure, do you guys know the differences between the editions yet? I think so. Wait, there's more than one edition of this app? Yeah, there was the cinema version, and then there's this version that we've got right now, which is has an extra 45 minutes added to it. Because, hey, you know, why not? Uh, but it's even worse. If you listen to, I think it was on the League of Nerds, there's actually a six-hour version somewhere. What? Six hours? Yes, and Kitch is breaking up very badly. You're going very robotic there. Sorry, I, I got I, I, I'm just in shock. That... Uh, Kitch, maybe do one thing. Can you kill your we webcam on Skype? It's not needed at all for us. How about now? That's better so far, yep. And Damn, I liked I your robotic voice. I, uh, I, I think uh, I was in such shock that I became a robot. That you became an Irish... <laughs> you became a Dublin Dalek there, so... Yep, it does at the mere thought of having to do six hours. Anyway, uh, just to let everyone know, as we said, this is an audio commentary to go along with the film. So wherever you obtain your copy, you can sync it up with us and listen to us jabber over it for whatever reason you feel inclined to do it. So without further ado, is everybody ready to go then? Well, I just feel the need to clarify that if there are periods of silence we uh, should probably repeat again this is supposed to go along with the movie yes because strangely enough out of my star trek commentaries i did have someone complaining that it was just a screenshot and us talking they missed yeah. out the words commentary on it and for those of you saying why don't you just play the film copyright that's it DMCA. Simple. yeah yeah i know you can use it for but we can't just show the film with us talking over it. I think that's stretching the definition a bit too far. Yeah, that's not fair use. We don't have to show the whole thing. So but anyway, it's, it's never going to work. Yeah, but you can obtain your copy and sync it up when I say where to go. I think the team is ready to go now. Yep. Uh, just about. My bottle of whiskey is open. Okay. okay, and if you're sitting at home and you've got your... Media at zero zero. Hit the play button now, and you should be seeing some very cheap intro graphics on a blue screen right now. Looks like uh, a video game from the mid nineties. Well, that's the thing I picked up on Miles saying this the other day. Well, and I noticed this the first time I got around to watching. It looks and feels like something from the nineties, and it should be something from the nineties as well. When was it made? 2004. I mean, that's the thing. And just generally, Marty and Zilla will probably remember what in the mid to late 90s, New Age stuff was everywhere. And oh God, it's this sequence. Oh no. Yeah, uh, Marty, you've seen the sequence already. It's just yeah. horrific. And uh, the thing is, I don't recognize any of the faces in this at all. Nope. But in saying that, for a fairly cheap documentary, it does have some pretty good production in it. Yeah, but and, that's all it's got going for it. And the, the idea of mixing like a narrative and a documentary is inventive, but it's just a... Shame that it's just utter crap. Now, here it doesn't we go. matter how many times you polish a turd, it's still a turd. Yeah. Yeah. And here is the, you know, the usual setup with New Agers. Oh, we're not like religion. We're not like science. We're something totally different to both of them. I'm getting real reefer madness flashbacks in this. And also, I hate to that point out. kind of Python esque. Yeah. But I, the thing with Copernicus there, uh, saying he was in opposition to religion. Do I have to point out the obvious? No, he wasn't. 
he, he was, was actually in opposition to the uh, geocentric model. In fact, if you read this book, the first part of it, if I remember, is a very long letter to the Pope saying that while he remains, you know, true to his faith, he apologizes that this is going to upset anyone. Again, I don't recognize any of these scientists here. Neither have I. Yeah, in fact, Copernicus kind of self-censored himself, really, didn't he? Oh, and of course, they couldn't go far without bashing Darwin here. By the way, Darwin didn't say anything like that at all. No. All he did was, it was a theory on origin of species. Yes, my random mathematical equations. Because they're scientists, and that's all you scientists do, isn't it, Kitch? I think Kitch just hasn't touched his push to talk again. And of course, here we go. Contradiction. Yeah. I'll... I have to ask Marty. Uh, I know it's going to be out, but I take it Jordan's a big fan of this film. I suspect so, but I, I don't that, know. He, he hasn't mentioned it. Given that you know, whole lectures of his are just lifted from this film. I think. Yeah, but that stuff you can find in other places as well. So hey, I don't know. Awesome! It's the wrong video. We've actually got an episode of Stargate going. We we're saved. Huzzah! Ah, ah, oh, fuck no! <laughs> Too good to be true. Uh, yeah, you're familiar with this one, this guy, and is that that's Hammer or is it? Fred Allen Wolf. Oh, is that all right? He's a crackpot. Well, they all are. But I think um, who's the other guy? It was Hammer? Hammerov does actually have some proper scientific training, but he yeah, just a lot of them do. But they've they've gone completely mental. This guy, I I, I can't re remember his name off the top of my head, but he's he, he has uh, I think he has a PhD in psychology ah, and, no, and but, he's also a physicist. But this guy here, he. Was yeah, he, very, he's the, yeah, he, he's he the was really tricked. pissed. He was really pissed off when he saw this film come out. And it's like Miles points out. It's like you see this really bad hatchet job editing they did on him. Because yeah. it's obvious they set up the questions. Oh, could physics say this? Could what? But uh, it's like um, remember the rationalizer when he talked about how these scientists got interviewed for the Quran. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they say, well, if it's not that, yeah. could it be this? Or if it's not that, could it be, you know, just leading to them getting to say what they want them to say? Oh, and here's the boring Irishman. Nothing As against I recall, the... he's a theologian. <laughs> I'm not sure. I yeah. think so. Nothing against the fine people of Ireland at all in any way. <clears throat> we don't say anything against them. Yeah, but he's, out of all the interviewees, I think he's one of the dullest ones, isn't he? And that's saying something. Oh, that was a, a really bad jump cut there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> oh, here he is. That's Hammerov, isn't it? Yeah. I, it's a, he's a neuro, neurosurgeon, isn't it? I think he is. Anesthesiologist. Yeah. What the hell is he proto consciousness? It's... Yeah, I, I get why he's uh, looking at consciousness. I don't get why he's looking at quantum mechanics. It could be still could be no, it's not stuck. Ah, math equation. Be scared of the maths. 
fear mats. It's kind of weird. They're using it to that um, maths escape, but it's also kind of trying to back them up. Oh, I just love the way that they try and use, yeah, that text was set up to look very kind of mathematical and sciencey and give it some kind of authority. But it's just meaningless. See, this is the narrative part of the film made in here. And see what I mean? Like, this doesn't look like the early 2000s. It does look like the 90s yeah. Yeah. through and through. And I was actually really stunned that this was made. Into, it just does look like science. It's got the kind of soft focus and that weird, almost soft porn set lighting. Not that I've ever watched soft porn. <laughs> <laughs> nice giveaway there, Cal. Yeah, come on. I'm into hardcore for crying out loud. It's scurrilous rumors that I watched soft stuff. So. And we have green screening 101. If you can't make it look convincing, don't try to make it look convincing. Don't put, uh, like... What's uh, the point of the green screen? That kind of background. And that's such I, a bad I green screen. Some, uh, either some abstract background or, or something that isn't meant to look like I'm trying to convince anyone that I'm really there. Oh, here we go. Say Science. what? Science is dead. Yes, the way science is done is dead. Uh, yeah, that's why it's producing more results than ever in history. This the woman that does the, you know what? Sh are, are we going no, to spoil that's, it? No, that's not her. Because reg regardless of what you think of what these folks say, it's not as crazy as one of them just manages to... Go full, Jordan. I don't know. I do this jump in the shark and this just I don't know what other kind of They've already jumped the shark. They jumped the shark at the opening credits, to be fair. Yeah, and then there's this main character now. This is another thing that Miles I'm gonna to refer to Miles' thing because I just listened to but he pointed out this I didn't realise she was deaf until halfway through the film. Really? Yeah, I got that immediately. Yeah, she's a famous deaf actress. She uh, played a part in Scrubs as well once. Yeah, and she's actually won an Oscar once, this, this lady. So, there you go. The Quark isn't the one who's fallen the most. <laughs> Someone else has managed to fall further. That may be, but, um, well, I think, yeah, Quark's just one major disappointment that, that Armin Shimmerman would be in but this movie. But there is the kind of rationale that maybe when they were filming this narrative part that all the actors thought they were going to be in a sci-fi movie. Because yeah, it is dialogue. And maybe Quark when he got out and, oh, God, there's this character. The annoying New Age roommate. I, I really wanted to see uh, the cuts there. I mean, she was blindfolded, and the deaf chick was signing. We didn't see her take off the blindfold until afterwards. But yeah, about... why why are you translating? Don't you think she knows what she's signing? Oh look, that's bad exposition. Look, lab coat and me in front of some fancy. Have they green screened those graphics onto the computer? Oh my uh. god! This is what scientists do, isn't it, Kitch? Is he an auto mechanic? Must come from the same university as John Morris Pendleton. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. And see, they even got. Well, the only thing I can criticize this guy is: Did you really have to do the blackboard with equations from behind you? <laughs> Look at my math, or maths. It's maths for us. It's as maths. People, 
Yeah, for us people who speak proper, it's maths. Complain, complain, complain. It's mathematics. Maths. Philistines. Right. What he should also mention is that that's not how science works. But, but like I say, given that he's off screen, oh Jesus, this bit. Oh, this come. shit, yeah. yeah but but no, I said, given I, I that know, it's... Um, I know that he's being... Uh, yeah, well, kind of, he wasn't on screen. She just turned into Jim Morrison. Oh, no, listen to this bit, Zilla. This is just... What's coming up now with that native guy is just... Um, it's the tip of the iceberg in what this film's all about, though. Yeah, that's not how the brain works, though. Yes, we're picking up more information than we can process, so we don't process that extra information. And, well, that's it. And notice how Saying Kitch... quantum doesn't change that. Notice Kitch, the one working scientist here, he's kind of been totally silenced by this film, I think. It's... We can't hear you, Kitch. I'm dumbstruck. And you're also turning into a Dalek now as well, so. How about now? Better. Just kind of add a soft grip on the com command button. See, I do believe that the actors in the film bit of this didn't know about all the other stuff this film. They just thought it was a straightforward film they were going to be in. Possibly. But this chick's acting is just... I'd have slapped her by now. <laughs> but you know what I mean, means, um, in the late 90s, we, you know, if we were at college or university, we all knew a girl like this, the new oh, age gotcha. of... I knew more than one, mate. I was surrounded by them. Oh, you were in Greenpeace. Ooh, oh, I got I got off lucky. I did not know anyone like this. Then I got your share, Me kid. Neither. You can take Although I do have an aunt who's like that. But not by choice. Obviously. What does what does quantum mechanics matter? Yeah, uh, modern electronics is entirely dependent upon it. The irony that a lot of people first saw this over the internet. <laughs> yeah. Say that, how did you guys actually find out about this film? Because I think... It's one of those we all kind of knew about before we got onto YouTube. I saw the Professor Quantum clips. Yeah, I think that was uh, the same for me, actually. I can't remember. Well, you know those girls who I used to know that were like the girl in this film that I was surrounded by? Yeah. It was them. Enough said. The fine machine. What is a yeah, machine? That's, that's the problem. What is a machine? And Ziller, did you take up on their advice at the time and watch this film? Sorry? Did you actually take up on their, on their advice at the time and watch this film? No, I was sat down and made to watch it. 
So you weren't, you didn't, weren't even offered sex for watching it or anything like that? Fucking hell. Oh, no, no. I was offered food, but it wasn't really enough. I don't know. Food's a pretty close second, I would say. What kind of food? Oh, God, you're going back a, a few years here. <laughs> Sorry, the film stuttered there a little bit. Phew, I thought I had gone deaf. For those I of you watching a lot, we just excited. paused the film for a few seconds. And we're back to whoever this is. What is it with the places these folk are sitting? <laughs> Invented? Well, I wouldn't put it that way, but... Uh, hmm. he's, he's right that uh, subatomic physics gets nutty when you compare it to what we intuitively understand. But yeah, yeah that's um... about it. For reference, there's a good video Phil Moriarty does when he tries to explain spin, what spin means in quantum mechanics. I mean, it just means something completely different, but it's the only word you could come up with for it. The way I explain spin is it's a number that has been assigned to this and it has a, a mathematical function. That's that's pretty much how you would explain it to a high school student without saying things that are downright false. If you try to be more detailed than that, you're you're going to have to say things that are incorrect or present a lot of math that they don't understand. Yeah, or use analogies that are hopeless and break down completely. Yeah. Is that what entanglement means? I didn't catch that. It says particles may be interconnected over great distances. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah, what it means. So he is actually saying some right th- things down. Yeah, it's just that he's leaving out all the things that make sure it doesn't uh, really affect the macroscopic scale. Basically, whenever the particles interact with anything, this connection is broken and it just doesn't scale up. Is he just speaking word salad, this guy? Pretty much. Potential electrons? It's not the electron that is a potential electron. It is that it is... It's not determined where it is. The location is potential. You can you can have a... There is the potential for an electron to be in this location. Oh, I knew they had to get Stodinger in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, this is another wonderful scene. Yeah. Oh, God, it's this bit. It's mini Morpheus. As <laughs> they dubbed him. Oh, 
I would have just taken the knife to the ball at this point and told the kid where to go. <laughs> what the hell was that? Well, it's mini Morpheus. I mean, this is literally they're doing the Matrix here. And they're trying to be a little bit Alice in Wonderlandy as well. Yeah. Yeah, I really would have taken a knife to that ball at this point. He's not doing anything for the reputation of kid actors, this little guy, is he? <laughs> yeah, it is. Define empty. Yeah, that's not how it really works. That's just a model. Well, yeah, I know Dawkins has used something similar. Like, like if the nucleus was a fly, then the, the electron would be another fly orbiting the diameter of a sports stadium or something like that. Well, yeah, but that's according to the Bohr model. I, I yeah. know, it's just, but it's just a way of breaking it down to lay people. Yeah. Oh, information again. Define empty. Okay, stop it with a Shatner pauses this guy, please. <laughs> That's Einstein quoted as well. I think, I think before this we should have listed down all the things we were predicting would happen in this film. Yeah, that's a miscalculation, and it has been yeah, it, it has been referred to as the biggest miscalculation in history because it was wrong by a f I believe it was a factor of ten to the one hundred and twenty or something like that. Wow, so that's that's even worse than creationists. Yep. Yeah. Wow. That's the real amazing uh, bit of this movie. Yeah, no, we still no, wouldn't be able to travel to no. dist distant galaxies because you, you don't get to travel faster than light just because you have a bunch of energy because we still don't have infinite energy. By infinity, do you mean very fast, Marty? Yeah. Shut uh, <laughs> bloody show. Fuck it. I couldn't resist it, sorry. Neelix reference. You can't have infinity as a velocity. That's as stupid as having the word bitching as your speed. Something like that. Or a muscle as a weight. Uh, no. The unified field. Pure abstract potential. Okay, you have said nothing. That's Deepak Ease. I'm actually very surprised Deepak doesn't appear in this movie. Yeah. Even he, he has probably standards. wanted too much money or something.
What? what is information? It's taken... What scientists refer to as information as what the lay person would think of information. Yeah, information is basically just a sequence of symbols, and symbols is not strictly defined. So basically, a sequence, which can be just one long of, well, anything, that's information. So Phil would have a field day with this. They just mentioned the whole atoms don't touch thing. They do touch. They they kind of touch. It depends on what you mean by touch. Yeah, you have to define touch very carefully. Yeah, the atoms atoms repel each other. The, the, you get to a to um, you get to a distance where the repelling forces uh, basically just make them stop when you compare it to the force that's pushing them together. And uh, well, that's what touching means. go. I think, Marty, this will be a rant for you, thermodynamics. Probably. Kind of. Do you know, are you in agreement there, Marty, with what he just said? Yeah. Define cause. Hmm. Oh god, this is... Uh, uh this bit no, with the no. moon bricks. Okay, what is this leading to? I think he's about to suggest that the signal travelled faster than light. Faster than the speed of light. What do you mean immediately? Because that takes such a short amount of time that you can't actually measure whether it's faster than light. No, that's not what it means. No, it's... It means it was faster than anticipated. That's it. It doesn't mean that they registered things before they happened. Yeah. That's not uh, what he was saying. Yeah, that, that's... It, that's... That's, that's not the prediction. If that was true, that's not what would happen. If it was true, that's not what you would expect. You'd expect to see the stimulus in the brain. You, you, expect, to, that's, uh, you expect to see that signal before it's, you know, the, the stimulus is applied. But no, it's, yeah. it's just showing that it's pretty goddamn fast. Yeah. 
it's an interesting effect, but but they show and but... yeah, exactly. It didn't happen before you pricked their finger. It still happened afterwards. And that's the thing. And there, there's a delay. Oh god, it's this fucking asshole. Sorry. Oh, you're allowed to swear as much as you want, Zilla. Go ahead. Was it Johanna who tried to use a bit of this in an yeah. argument with you, um, Marty? Yeah. I think he's a bit into this kind of stuff, isn't he? Not too far. Is this kind of time, Lord? He's just Morpheus Jr. <laughs> ah, so this is a prequel to The Matrix. Makes sense. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is it. Oh god, this. I don't know. Is there anything you can add to this right now? No, it's all correct so far. Yeah. Nope. It's better to say that's not. And she just destroyed itself. <laughs> What's the definition of an electron again? Definition? Well, that's a tough one. Is it essentially an electron? It's the smallest bit of I, is, subatomic. Is it point light particle? No. Yeah, it, it's a fermion. So it's a it's a particle that well, basically, it's a unit of electric charge. I suppose you could say. Okay. It, there's more to it than that because it has mass and it has spin and other properties as well. No. It doesn't leave as a particle. It leaves as an electron. I'm guessing... That and they... it stays an electron. It has particle properties. It has wave properties. Yeah. And just to shake it up, he's only really... Well, he's completely ignoring the idea of Bohmian mechanics as an explanation as yeah. well. He's ignoring all explanations so far. Here we go. Find an observer. 
because so this is the because the measure we're in Johannan territory now, are yeah. we? Yeah. When you're measuring it this, it decided to act. Blah blah blah. Yeah, but as though it was aware. No, it's oh, being interacting. In, in order oh, to God. observe something, you have to interact with it. Something has to give you the information that the particle is there. So there has to be some kind of interaction. And that interaction has an effect on the particle. It's that simple. And this is the measurement problem. Yes. By interacting with it. I really think we should have got Phil Moriarty to sit in with us on this, but... Yeah, that would. I don't fun. know how much of his rage we, <laughs> we will. Well, he would just go nuts. I think there's only so much that man can tolerate. Only so much. Yeah, I think I I particularly do hate that that little segment just because it just completely ignores most uh, like explanations for the double slit experiment. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just ridiculous. This is the crazy woman, isn't it? Yeah, that's the nut. No, we're not going to spoil what we later find out about this individual. What, her? And I, no matter what you think of this film, you won't be prepared for what this woman's all about later on. It's... Uh, <laughs> you know, what, or whatever criticisms you may have of this film so far, you know... They well, you know, they're getting oh, some scientific fuck, errors. But there's, there's jumping she the shark, drives there's it. nuking the fridge, and there's this. Yeah, what she what it, what she later reveals later is just you're like, what the fuck? Where did that come from? So we're gone beyond nuking the we're gone beyond nuking the fridge. This just wait we've for gone it. beyond space Jews. Well, maybe not. Like I said, it's so random what this woman turns out to be all about later on. And she was the big backer of this film, wasn't she? Yeah. Because I think even some of the New Agers on here, they were a little bit, wait, what the fuck? We, we didn't know we were involved with this woman. Actually, we have. There is no consciousness term in any of those equations. We we have mathematical equations that describe how this works, and they work. Yeah, not basketballs. They are not particles. Yeah. They are collections of a shipload of particles. And also there are explanations of quantum mechanics where that's not actually the case. Correct. And by explanations of quantum mechanics, I'm not talking about fringe ones. I'm talking about actually valid alternative explanations. Yeah.
I'm getting the impression that that uh, this that he's actually using this as an analogy for sub for subatomic part of physics, but they're presenting yeah. it as oh, this applies to every system. Yeah, like it applies to the pre- macroscopic world. I mean, they've obviously cut to halfway through something he's explaining. I I think that this whole bit here was probably him trying to do an analogy for all of this. Yeah, that's what I really think. Yeah, I don't actually do that myself. I I don't uh, try to make analogies with basketballs or anything like that. I just talk about how weird things are at the quantum scale. I don't try to... um, compare it to uh, macroscopic objects because it just doesn't work and then you get things like this choosing has nothing to do with it that means like a you don't choose the result of a quantum measurement You don't split a person up quantumly. (laughs) It doesn't work. The subconscious has nothing to do with it. I feel like he's flipping us off. Not really. Eh, Not really. Yeah, there's a very important thing. It has to be a universe where there is nothing else. I don't spoil the analogy. <laughs> <laughs> you will ruin the whole premise of the film. Uh, I don't know that it was, but whatever. Bullshit. Uh, He's just said everything was entangled at the moment of the Big Bang. That means that everything should be entangled, which is not what we see. No, because even if it were, and I actually don't know uh, if it was, but let's say it was. In that case, there has still been interactions since then. So the entanglement has been uh, cancelled out. Yeah, it's not a lot. I really, I don't understand a lot. What I can just tell the. Some a lot of this is just utter bullshit at the moment. Yeah. Uh. Yes, a single wave function would have multiple positions. Kind of. Uh, That's not the way I'd phrase it, but yeah. (laughs) 
have to ask Martin, is a teacher, has, have you had a student yet come up to you with any of this what the bleep shit? No. Fortunately. I think the day's going to come yet. Probably. You can't weigh something like this. Weighing is, it, it's, you're assuming it's macroscopic. <laughs> it's a nonsensical question. It's like asking what color it is. What color is an electron? What does an electron smell like or something like that? Yeah. Is this guy a proper scientist as well? I can't remember. Yeah. You can uh, see they're at trying the to get... At the time, I don't think he was a physicist. I think he uh, he was studying physics at the time. I, he had a degree in... I, I think it's psychology. But he turned uh, to physics and he... I, I believe he has a PhD now. Also notice the other thing about this, like usually in documentaries when they introduce a new person speaking, you get their name and what they do. Yeah. And they don't do your... they, It's just at the end they announce this. And I think there's good, yeah. again, it's to do with this woman in particular that they do this. And a bunch of others as well. I mean, uh, why would an anesthesiologist be talking about quantum mechanics? My God, that boss was a horrible, horrible actor. What about oh, the random no, it's this dust? one. Ah, uh, it's the you can make ticks appear on pre-recorded tapes by thinking which ear they should come through. Mostly, really. This is one of the most. You can get a qualification in meditation. Ever. Yeah, James Randi has a million bucks for you. Oh, God. This is where it really starts to go fucking insane. going to see that every new bit that comes up. Yeah, you can't do that without actually changing the chemical makeup of it. He's saying they were really successful, but they never actually show any of these results. Yeah, and these are experiments that have yeah. been proved to be utter bullshit. For, the, yeah. for all intents and purposes, he may, be, he may, be just, he may be saying this up there. Basically, I, I cut a woman in half. I pulled a rabbit out of a hat. Um, you know, all this other sort of, sort of magic. Given the amount he's substantiating any of it, yeah, he could be saying anything. This is a famous 
institute that either he's part of or talking about that did these. Uh, I can't remember what they what they're called. Are they based in Philadelphia or something? But they were part of a university, um, and they were trying to push this as you know them being accredited, qualified, and stuff. And and then it turned out that their experiments were complete bullshit, and the university just kind of dropped away from them. But they still keep touting themselves as having the authority of the university. Um, yeah, no? all those experiments have problems with controls. You can definitely find the uh, cases when it seems that way, and then you can find cases when it seems like it's the opposite way, so you ignore those. That's uh, it. Yes. They're talking about the Global Consciousness Project. That's who I'm thinking of. I just have to no new age documentaries complete without the token Indian guy. Yeah, discount Deepak Chopra. Just to give you a bit of background, because this is all um, the Princeton um, Global Consciousness Project, Princeton Engineering Anomalies Research Lab, that they're talking about. And these guys said that they got highly statistic statistically significant experimental results with their random number generator things somehow that showed a spike for the September 11th, 2001 attacks at the times of the plane impacts and the building collapses. I mean, just yeah. one thing here, she can still get a, a phone signal, and not only just a phone signal, but enough for a video call on the, on the subway. Ah, uh, quantum. And you know what's coming up now, Marty, you've had to deal with this one already. Um, oh, it's oh. the water thing, right? Oh god, not the water thing. Oh god, are we going into homeopathy? Uh, close to, as good as. Kind of. It's pretty shapes. Oh. Actually, it's worse. Yeah. It's closer to yeah, some kind of weird sacred geometry bullcrap. It's Jordan territory. Yeah. Right, love on your water bottles, everybody. Are you going to have to say it about Emoto or Shidai or Zilla? Who wants to actually point out the obvious of Emoto? That he's a fraud? It he is. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, but he is not a scientist. No. Nope. His results no, were His degree is fake. He got it from a mail order company in India. And I forgot, it, it, has he he's refused to share his results? Oh no, he's shared these results, but they've, the tests are complete crap. Like they weren't, I mean, basically everything you do in a test in the lab catch, he didn't do basically. It's basically I... frozen, frozen water, he got people to think happy thoughts and they made happy shapes, isn't it? The rundown of it, yeah, something it, like that. But he didn't specify beforehand anyway, a, what counts as a, as a beautiful of, shape. 
Yeah, yeah. How do you? It's so subjective. And so even like, the premise is ridiculous. Like, and he didn't have a control group where people weren't nope. aware, and he didn't have a group where people were thinking negative thoughts. Um, so basically, he, he didn't does have no controls at all. At the end yeah. of the day, this results show water freezes. Yeah, there you go. That's the picture before. Oh, for God's sake. You know what we should do? Get Emoto to get a bottle of water and leave it next to Angry Pumpkin for a week or so and see what it turns <laughs> into. Apart from being smashed into his face, most likely. I'm going to guess pure, unadulterated hatred. Or just turn into petrol and get lit and thrown at him. Why are they doing this presentation on a subway? Because quantum, that's why. Because plot. <laughs> because, come on guys, don't you want to hear about pseudoscience on your way to work? That's what I want to hear when I'm on my way to work. Bullshit. I mean, Zilla can attest to this, but like, if you go to, say, the London Underground, only oh, liquids God, yeah. you're going to see or smell there is the piss from <laughs> tramps, basically. But, oh no, Quark, why did you? Imagine their thoughts could do to Latin number. Because they don't do that to water, you pillock. That's She's got that look. Oh says, Fucking hell, that was even worse than the shit in Voyager. <laughs> I'm sur that, that was the look of I'm surrounded by idiots. Or I'm glad I'm deaf so I didn't hear what bullshit he just said to me. I told you. Was this the experiment? I said going? this was coming. Yeah. What was your control for this experiment? Yeah, exactly. What was the hypothesis? How do you know? No. Oh, God. How could you possibly reach that conclusion? Because you're a boring old fart. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. So yeah, if you, you get raped, and tell that to the it, it was kids your in fault. Africa. Tell that to the victims of Ebola. Tell that to the kids who have flies eating their eyes out. Go on. Yep. Fucking arsehole. Wait, what? What about the attention span there? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What? What? What happened? What? 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 Uh, where are we? Who are? Who are you? What? What? Was that word salad meant to be a real term, or do you have aphasia? I think the word energy just got absolutely wow. violated in that sentence. Energy density has nothing to do with what you're, what you're 
ability to focus on something is. And define what the fuck you mean by channel. Do you know the way because she's... that's not how reality works. The way she's speaking right now reminds me of that guy Amon Ra on YouTube. Do you remember him, Marty? Yeah, more. Yeah. He kind of he, he spoke normally and then suddenly adopted this weird academic voice that was so fake and put on. Yeah. What did, what, what did you just say? Nothing. Blah, mm -hmm. blah, 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 rubbish. Her <laughs> boss didn't seem worried earlier. He seemed pissed off with her. Obviously, it's medication day. Well, if you noticed when she ran over there, there was a table with a phone with like six bottles of pills sitting on it. <laughs> Oops. If I recall correctly, those are going down the drain later on. Medicine is bad, apparently. I like the way the realization suddenly dawned on her then when she went, the day I make someone sane, you're in trouble. Oh, fuck. Yes, I am, aren't I? <laughs> oh, crap. That's true. Again, I am, I am of the... I support Miles's idea that... Like the narrative part of this film, they actually didn't tell the actors what the overall thing They just tell it's going to be this sort of weird sci-fi thing they're doing. You've just made it even more weird. I had a strange day. Um, I some some person was talking absolute crap trap in the the train station, and oh yeah, I um, I observed the I met, uh, bending of space I met and the time. Black Morphe. I met the Mini Morpheus down at the ba some basketball court. I saw some some kid bend of the fabric of space and time. That's what I quote qualify as a strange day. Yep. Yeah, it's possible to dream, I agree. And you can dream pretty much anything, so... Oh, they referenced Flatland there, they, could, they shouldn't do that at all. Well, we know that's coming up next. Flatland's actually quite a decent little story, but please don't violate it with us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're going to. Maliciously. No, don't ruin geometry for me. Oh, I, I've seen this segment. They do. Uh, what? 
Yeah, they're just look. into word what? salad now. What? what? Define truth would be the first thing I, uh. I they ask you to do. Oh, macroscopic no. objects aren't entangled. Oh, and another Einstein. Appeal to Einstein again. Take a drink. That sounds like a very good idea. I'm going to do just that. Uh, somebody give me some whiskey. They haven't made an appeal to... Um, well, Stephen Hawking's usually won us in it. And, well, they, and already... they haven't mentioned the damn cat yet either. I that's uh, right. Hawking, they'd usually appeal to if it got to cosmology. Uh, they've done a Galileo, haven't they? They did that to start. Copernicus. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. They, but they usually go, oh well, Galileo thought this radical idea and oh, yeah. everyone was against him, so you know. But the big thing you miss with the Galileo thing is he had lots of evidence to back it up. Yeah. Oh, is, is he trying to say that quantum tank Did he just say magic? Yeah, it, it, it's essentially magic. No, no your head a... is not a quantum mechanical object. Oh. It's macroscopic. It consists of a lot of objects that interact and thus a bunch of wave functions that collapse if, you, if you're into that interpretation. I prefer my non-collapse interpretations, personally. Many worlds. Okay, then. Read my thoughts. Okay, he literally just I said, read your thoughts, I can read kid. your thoughts and never attempt to demonstrate it. Yeah. I can read your thoughts, Kirch. You're basically saying, why am I doing this? And you're cursing me to hell out of you. Oh, well, of course, but... I usually, um, that's because I'm saying it as well. Damn you, why am I doing this? I wish you all hell. Yeah, this is a discount D pack we've got here, isn't it? Hang on, he was talking about receive or monitoring brain um, activity. I don't know if he said EEG, but the subtitles came up ECG. Why would you have an electrocardiograph monitoring your brain activities? Um, the subtitles are French, by the way, so uh, right. they might not match up. I just want to see someone you know, hook up an ECG what to the their hell? head. She, just know she hasn't even fun. wallpapered her apartment. Like, it's just bare chipboard in that apartment, so fucking hell. Such as how because I don't understand coincidence, <laughs> and I want to feel special in the center of the universe. Uh, and I force no, object to no, confirmation no. bias. If I created my own reality, this film would never have come into existence. Exactly. <laughs> Too true. If I could create my own reality, Batman and Robin would not be a thing. In fact, Batman and Robin actually would be a thing, but it would be actually a good movie. In fact, it would be the best movie of all time. Oh, Kitch, you and your homoeroticism. And bat nipples would not exist. <laughs> or bat credit cards. Yeah, see where you went wrong there, keeping it simple for the layperson. That doesn't work because it isn't that simple. Real reality isn't simple. If you're going to make quantum mechanics so simple that a layperson can understand it, then you have to misrepresent it. Sorry, but that's just the way it is.
Or maybe you're wrong. Or, or maybe scientific analogies are not meant to be taken literally. Yeah, we should if you're right. We don't, therefore you're wrong. What? Is someone, it, it, this, this film, does, have we just gone into Star Trek? <laughs> Apparently so. Man, Spock really let himself go. An emergent process I, of the brain. The process by which we perceive the world. Take in information, process it, and act upon it. Evolution, my dear idiot. Yeah, it's conferred a survival advantage on us, and that's why we have it. But again, pretty much everything on Earth has, well, all living or have some level of consciousness. Well, like it's just pure basic instinct or to you know monkeys to us there's some because it just yes. it's got nothing to fucking do with it Okay, this is a real nitpick of this, but in the film section, does anyone actually wallpaper the places they live in and work? What the f what the fuck just happened? No idea. What's the spirit? spirit. Oh. Define God. Why are you using terms that you won't define? Well, that's what the Bible says he is. Yeah, one thing I will say I think this guy's been a victim of coat mining as well. I say, like, he, oh. I mean, it's not really the, you know, the New Agers, they wouldn't really go to theologians for any kind of reference. No. So I do get the feeling, you know, while I'm not really into theology at all, I think maybe he's been quote mined a bit for this, you know, just for the bits that can support their side. Just my take on it. <laughs> That what? sentence didn't make any sense. <laughs> She's just throwing words together randomly and hoping it sticks. How can... Again, Zillar, this is not the worst thing she's going to do in this How film. can the Jedi Cole oh, explain no, but... consciousness? See, I can do it too. A minute. He's just aged ten years in a clip there, that guy. Because quantum... <laughs> think so. I think I've just aged 10 years. We've all aged 10 years because quantum. I 
Okay, just to go into a complete stereo, this shows that his video, his interview was badly edited. See, they got, they offered him booze, and that clip there was before he started drinking. And oh, there we go, yeah. and the rest of the, <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry, Kitch, we had to go there. I won't be surprised if everybody was drunk. I'm actually twitching from watching this sober. Because you're a new age who can't speak coherently and nobody wants to be friends with you. What does spiritual mean? Yeah, define spirit, define spiritual, define God. Ah. As soon as you define spiritual, you can test it. And if you can test it, you can disprove it. But if you don't define it, no one knows what you're talking about. So it's meaningless. Meaningless, but you can convince morons with it. True. Yeah. Single organisms don't evolve. You're going to get quote mined. Did she just say there's people on Cirrus? Like, on the star? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm all up for making bold statements you can't substantiate about aliens living in a particular star well, system somewhere. And I think somewhere, that's the, another new age. You'll, you'll see why she says these things. And just to say, that was another New Age throw pictures of the Eagle Nebula. I think that's got to be in there at some point. God, yeah. I mean, it is a lovely picture, but New Age just abused that one as well. Well, it's a pretty picture, so there must be some uh, deeper meaning to it, right? Yeah. That's the other one, is the supernova that happens to look like an eye because of the angle you're looking at yeah. it. Okay, who hasn't figured it out yet? I like the way he's eyeing up another woman on his wedding yeah. day, having just tied the knot. <laughs> That's subtle, isn't it? Yeah. I... Exposition, exposition. <laughs> there's obvious, and then there's that. There's obvious, and then there's insulting. Oh god, that is oh god. Oh that is oh that's that's horrible. <laughs> that's not what happens at a synapse! That's that's it's not literally like the same thing! That's horrible! It's chemical messages, it's like oh god, oh oh neuroscience. Oh what have you done to deserve this? Oh, oh the <laughs> yeah, even I know that the electrical impulses go through the nerves, and then there are chemicals transmitting the signals between the nerves. Oh, 
God, neuroscience. Yeah. What have you done to deserve this? And do you know something? It's still not the craziest thing about that woman. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I can feel it. This is. I can. Feel... I am willing to. You are not. You won't believe what this woman. Uh, if I'm... you're gonna use a green screen and try to make us believe that that's actually there, you're gonna have to do it a lot better than that. <laughs> At least make the lighting fit. I, I'm guessing what this woman is going to say is going to be so stupid that it actually warps the fabric of space and time. Oh, you've got no idea. Marty, I mean, myself and Marty are... That's good, the fun thing. Myself and Marty are in this. We know what this woman's about and nothing's going to prepare you for when it's revealed. Oh, yeah. I knew Marty was going to rage at this because it is essentially just an absolute assault on physics, but my... God, I didn't think they'd be butchering biology as well. <laughs> Leave biology alone, eh, kid? Just leave it alone. Leave, I mean, biology alone. Yes, the choices we've made in the past are different from the choices we will make in the future because they are in the past. Yes, I agree. Is there a point? God, stop using that image. Stop using that clip. I think we're knowing all about rage at the moment. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads <laughs> to suffering. Thank you, Yoda. Quantum measurement produces memory. Uh huh. Oh. Now that's a good example of green screening when you can't do it properly. Stop flashing back to that wedding. You don't have nerve cells that control anger. That's not how brain, how biology works, is it, Kitch? I, I don't have a specific set of nerve cells that go, we are angry nerve cells. This thing that, you He's know, talking we, about as uh, you learn a skill, neural that they, programs, basically. Yeah, this thing about learning that they start to form stronger joints and that, that's... Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> We've damaged Kitch. We've broken Kitch. I think the brain's my damage. Right. Actually, the Bible kind of does. It says the, Bible that the only says, thing that matters is what you believe. I think the Bible does actually state if it's not if two true Christians are in the same place and they pray at the same time, the prayers will be answered. Yeah, There's something like that there. So I've yeah, where two of no you are gathered in my house, I will be there.
No. What? Not abusing quantum. Uh, losing track of time does not mean that you become like a quantum particle. You're talking about a psychological effect. You mean I have responsibilities? Yeah. I have no idea what she's referring to. But yeah, there are reasons why we have to do certain things, yes. Fuck. The what hell? The? Yes, Deepak. What are you saying? That was the most meaningless horseshit ever. What the hell is this? That's your brain heart. I don't know, but I think it's about to attack the Enterprise. That was a hypothalamus. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure the hypothalamus doesn't beat like that. Yeah, I, I've never come across one pulsing. <laughs> um, if they say it was the I, pineal gland, I'm finishing the entire bottle in front of me right now. I think I think this person has a condition. But there was that. But just a shot of our arse for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, remember, we do have a short attention span. Oh, God. Oh. Well, that old guy What's does. Well, this is taking that. a drastic turn. Maybe they're about to make this interesting. This must have been, like, uh, when it was in post-production, these guys, oh, sh We'll be losing them at this point. We've got to do something, anything to get them back. What the fuck? Oh, God. <laughs> I have to admit, that is actually kind of funny. I did get a small chuckle out of that. Um, the, yeah, the, are the, these the, people the, high? The... What? That's basically that what. Uh, the phone's reaching to the audience. He's there. far too happy. Yeah, put the drink down. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Yeah. <laughs> I spell a roofie. Yeah, modifying your behavior does not mean changing your identity. I don't like that version of what I like about you for some reason. No shit.
but we need to eliminate that as a factor in you know finding out what actually happens to be true yes this is a sex analogy isn't it Change okay, the gene, they'll we'll change see. the gene expression somehow. But oh, subtle. What? What? Whoa, 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 what the hell? You didn't even define an observer. It doesn't know these things. It's chemistry. Yeah, then you're schizophrenic. it's not your cells that you're hearing, it's your imagination. Yeah. Are they going down depression's your own fault route here? Yeah. Yeah. And um, I think just I heard during the whole spiel that the binding of the receptor to a pro to a to the binding of a ligand to a receptor changes the nucleus. Yeah, no, just just no. It's a horrible dress, anyway. Smoking a pipe now. <laughs> well, I think finding out what's in that pipe would explain quite a lot. Yeah, she shouldn't have touched that drink, should she? This is what you see, children, if you accept drinks off strangers. So I kind of got distracted. What the hell's going on? She drank the mm. acid-laced uh, drink that someone gave her, and now she's drinking. No, she didn't drink it. But... She evidently did, because she's seeing things all over the place. Well, since... No, they're gonna. She, she was looking for her medication earlier. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Are they about to go anti psycho anti psychology in this, or anti? They're about to say that you don't need medicine. Ah, uh, bloody! Here we go again. Giggity. They really like showing that. It's the only good thing about this movie. Girl bending over. Well, yeah. But no, it's gonna. It's a kind of general rule of thumb. New Agers are very anti psychology and psychiatry. Uh. Yeah. Vermintly so. Like, I think that's true with Jordan, isn't it? Yeah. He yeah. says you should meditate instead of actually solving the problems that your kids tell you about. I, are they really saying that people don't quit their job because they're stressed? 
they're addicted to stress or it, you know it couldn't be that you know people need money to survive and thus she snaps yeah did you really have to walk in on them in order to figure out what was going on and also you're just a photographer this is none of your business Why did they stop the music? It's Barry Kripke. Yeah. Is oh that? my god, I didn't realize. He's Barry Bang Kripke Theory, Big from Bang Theory. Um, oh, Big Bang Theory. Sorry. Barry. And everyone in this movie could do sign language. That's subtle. Hey, what? Nice bit of racism as well. <laughs> Carrie's frequency. <laughs> what? That's. Oh, I got I'm having a drink. That's another new age trope frequency. They're addicted to that word. Oh, uh, they're just leaving out the word dimension. Come on. That's what we're waiting for. And vibration. For. Potential as well is another one. No, they've used yep. potential, haven't they? They've used potential. Didn't they use vibration? Nope. No, vibration's not in yet. Uh, okay. They've done the raping of energy. <laughs> Violently. Dimensions, has that I been think, done yet? I think, yeah, d Dimensions, uh, they still haven't mentioned that I can recall. But, well, it's Dimensions and then there's Space Juice. That's pretty much all they have left. Yeah. Space Juice. Intergalactic heat brews. Take the drink. Booze will solve everything. We really need a team for Space Juice. I really feel that Space Juice is is deserving of its own kind of team song. Internet, make it happen. Did this just turn into a 1980s college flick? Something like that. Yeah, now they're just into straightforward stereotyping of everyone. So. Well, apparently these are cyborgs. Okay, considering what they're clearly trying to make this look like, um, does anyone else think it's kind of ironic that the whole gaydar thing is just yeah. on <laughs> overload right now? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but and that's how not to do it.
Oh, what? <laughs> 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 oh god, you're oh, not okay. even trying anymore. Oh, what? Uh, oh, fucking. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, this venom has officially gone past nuking the fridge. Both. There's fans of Japanese hentai will be watching this going, this is fucked up, dude. <laughs> ah, uh, yeah, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, Gator Overload. What the hell is meant to be happening now? Take a guess. <laughs> I mean, poor attempt at overcompensation. Or a very, very bad uh, Terminator sequel. Mm. Beats T3. Kinda. Okay, maybe not. Just to say, I've actually been to a Polish wedding and this doesn't resemble one in any way, shape, <laughs> or form. They're now doing the Birdie song. <laughs> well, the discount version of it, anyway. Yeah. What the hell? Where did the drips come from? They're not even trying to do anything even vaguely in the name of the film anymore. This is... Random music. The thing is, I don't think they're acting. This was just all the actors. They just gave up and just got pissed one night and they just filmed what happened. <laughs> Threw in some effects to say, yeah, that'll do I it. Think you would though, wouldn't you? Literally? What? Literally? What? Well, no, it's oh, no, chemical it's... instructions. Yeah. It's from your DNA. Surely if what he's saying is true, then you would have to grow a brain before you grew the rest of the fetus. Uh, I, I'm. What do you mean by being the same person? Of course, you are the same person as you used to be. I mean, that's just how it works.
think someone's gonna fuck you, this lady, for this explanation of heroin addiction, I think. Yes, you build up tolerance. What's your point? Yeah, this is the anti-pharmaceutical, but no. Oh. What the hell is this supposed to represent? Um, you know, I think if they just made the film these animations and nothing else, it could have been a bit more entertaining, watchable. <laughs> yeah, cells don't decide anything. Uh, is aging the result of that? Isn't it more like it's the other way around? Mm -hmm. Yes, Kitch. You just hear, was it improper protein or something like that? Is the, that's what causes aging. Uh... I take it that's a no then. Um, yeah, I mean, the 20 years having passed is the cause of it, not uh, that, it's not like... I'm just um, trying to figure what the data just said. Uh, is it... He's conflating cause and effect. Twenty years haven't passed because the cells have gotten worse at doing their job. Okay, that that came out of nowhere. What the hell does that Stop mean? Stop speaking nonsense. Wait for it, Zilla, though. Just oh, wait for I'm it. I'm sensing it's coming soon. That was completely and that was I was sensing that scene supposed to be dramatic, but it really pulled me out with that absolutely cartoony sound effect. I like the I kind of feel sorry for the poor actress having to pull off this part. Well, yeah. For this pile of shit. 
Yeah. But just, just the actual character part as well, it's just crap. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't understand where this came from. Now she's seen Quark in the mirror. Uh -huh. Did Quark ever say anything about this? He's never spoken about it. Probably for the best. I see. I'm willing to guess he he did think it was a sci-fi movie he was taking part in. Uh, no, that's what? not how addiction works. A bitch. That's not the definition of how you get addictions at all. Um... What the, um, um, yeah, what does that mean? Translation, please. She's gone fully psycho now. And her yeah, friend doesn't think there's nice. anything to yeah, worry okay, about because else? she's a self-involved <laughs> prick. Word salad. Very much so. No, we don't. Oh, kinesthesiology. No, don't go there. No, you'll still be fat. It's that... People have different ideas of what wonderful means. Is she actually going to smoke that pipe? Uh, well, she smokes something. Yeah, given... <laughs> given what's, what you're going to find out. I think it's her crack pipe. Honestly, I think yeah, crack Complain is... about the media. In the media. What the hell is... What the hell is he talking about? He's 
essentially saying mental breakdowns are good things. It's <laughs> that, that you're just oh, it's you letting go of your old. No, I've seen people close to me have a mental breakdown, and that's not what I thought when they went through it. They are not good things. They are definitely not like what I've seen them. For a huge state, not just the person, but all the people around them. It's horrible to see someone go through it. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Define spiritually and define how you advance spiritually, you moron. How can you advance through a concept you can't even fucking define? Sorry, that's just getting to me. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Or just say the ten percent myth. Just go ahead. I think he's wanting <laughs> to. It's going that way, isn't it? What? There you go, guys. It's great to just ditch your friends and your loved ones. In fact, your spiritual evolution demands that you ditch your responsibilities and your friends and your loved ones. Fuck them all. I've got nothing to say to that. It's just... It means nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. This is just pure Jordan territory now, this. Yeah. How the hell would you know? See, this is this is either I don't know, he's in need of a drink now. This guy looks like it. What the hell? Right and wrong doesn't go nearly far enough. I think everyone's just dumbfounded now the way this is going. How can they spend so much? They haven't said anything in the past 30 minutes since the wedding.
Oh, he changed clothes. Oh, I haven't heard from him in a long time. He's gonna... Um, She's stuck on random word generators, wasn't she? Yeah, the wisdom of Chopra generator or something. I honestly think at this point they just ran out of stuff to put in the film, so... They just got all the random bits and pieces, all the interview he said, and just threw it together here. Awesome. That's just your perception, Marty. Yay, I'm having tech glitches. Oh, yeah. Well, it's working right now. Oh, somebody say something relevant or something meaningful now, please. I I think there's something relevant to what he was saying there, because I feel after listening to him, my brain has melted. Of course, my physiology is different right now than it was before. Yeah. No. How, yes, so that's how we how is going learn, to experience the unified example? field. The fuck. Especially when you consider that they have defined the unified field as something abstract. Meaning what? The universe isn't entangled. <laughs> How can an experience be entangled? Experience is not a particle or a quantum object. Experience is not even a concrete thing. What if we could say that experience is smelly or this cuddly? This is Jordan level stupid indeed. Are these people actually suggesting telepathy is real? Oh yeah. god. And that's still not the stupid part, Zilla and Kitch. And that's still not the stupid part. Probably. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> nope. I've been saying it for a long time. Get me a one-way ticket somewhere else and I'm off. <laughs> that was meaningless rubbish. <laughs> that could be the tagline to this film. Whatever quantum mechanics is to the 20th century being a scientific revolution, whatever scientific revolution comes along in the 21st century will be the scientific revolution to the 21st century. I just said something deep.
I mean, this is literally when you were a teenager smoking weed, the type of shit your mates would come out with. No, we came out with better shit than this. No, oh, well, speaker, we just did what people should do, and we just, just listened to Pink Floyd all the time. Well, yeah. What? What? Mean what? That's not the stupid part. <laughs> now she's not even just throwing random words together, she's throwing random syllables together. You're an illusion. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, because we haven't come up with one. And actually, there are a mathematical description yeah. of it. It's called in integrated information theory, and it's probably not correct, but it's a mathematical description of it anyway. Depends on what you mean by simultaneously. Oh, don't don't no. abuse Flatland, please. No, I flat seriously land. doubt she's talking no, about the flat flat land alone. Alone. But, Just leave you know. it alone. Just don't. <laughs> you bastards. I mean, uh -oh. for anyone listening who doesn't know what Flatland is, it's a nice little... It's a sci-fi story, isn't it? It's incredible. If you don't know what it is, yeah. either read it or kill yourself now. Those are the only two options. And there, there was an animated movie made a few years ago as well. Yeah, you can get it on YouTube. Yeah. It's really it's good, actually. Pretty, and it's really it's, weird. It's uh, a site. It's just intended to explain concepts of geometry to kids, but it's really, really well done. Yeah, it's like two D shapes that kind of self aware, and it's like a three D shape arrives, and they view the two Ds view the three Ds as heresy and all. And it's just about perceptions and that. It's actually really well done. Originally, it was actually just meant to be about um, Victorian culture and and um, ethics and stuff, and it, it wasn't meant to. the The mathematics of it wasn't what he wrote it for, but that's what it's remembered for. No, but it, essentially, it's really clever. It's one of it works oh, yeah. on a lot of levels. Yeah, Everyone who watches it gets something else out of it. Oh, leave it alone. The circle should be able to see you. The circle can't see or hear you no more than you could see or hear something that was in four dimensions. No, you're not in another dimension. You just exist in one more dimension than them. They said dimension, okay. Uh. Well, I might as well, for those folk who... The other thing with Flatland, if you're kind of hearing, yeah. you know, a lot of the talk in they physics about the extra dimensions, the that's the other good thing with Flatland. It gives you a kind of idea of what they're actually meaning by it. Yeah. And he doesn't talk stupid, like say, say things like "I'm in another dimension," which is yeah. a meaningless thing to say. It 
doesn't. It means nothing. Yeah. Now the Arthur C. Clarke idea. Hmm. And he's not in the third dimension. Yeah. <laughs> he's Anything in a mathematical space from that's magic. Just defined by three dimensions, oh, well. or has dimension three. I'm just saying that ah. means we've hit on the no. next new age trope, the abuse of dimensions. Yeah. Nothing pisses me off more. Yeah, I've already had a drink. I am actually starting to get buzzed. Finally. Oh, God. <laughs> no, that's that's not even what happens in Flatland. The two dimensional, or the object of dimension yeah, two, still has what? dimension two, no matter how many. How large the dimensional space yeah. it exists in. They just learn to understand this extra yeah. dimension. That but that's it, you know. If I took you out and put you into four dimensional space, you would still have three dimensions. You wouldn't suddenly have four dimensions. You'd be able to move around in four-dimensional space, but you still would just have three dimensions. Well, we might actually exist in four-dimensional space. We just wouldn't know. The proper scientist that was in this. Yeah. Solving your brain and the science of creating oh, chiropractic. <laughs> yeah. So he has no business being in the single movie. organisms don't evolve. And single organs and... of single organisms don't evolve. <laughs> not a doctor. Sorry. We're still not at the stupid part yet. Really? Sorry, Moto is not a doctor. Crap. No, but it's coming up. That's John Hagelin. I hadn't yet heard that name before. He works at some uh, Maharishi University thingy. He's uh, he's nuts. Enough said. Associate director of the Center of Consciousness. Yeah. But that that is his area of study, isn't it? Hammer off, yeah. Yeah. Where's Maynooth College, Kitch? Sorry? No. This guy's from Maynooth College or something like Maynooth? that. The Irish dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how I reckon. Maynooth, it's a good college. He didn't even bother green screening her here. Maynooth is a good college, but I haven't heard of this guy at all. 
Goat. A journalist. Yay. How credible is that? So you know nothing about the subject discussed in this movie. And an MD, yeah. So he knows nothing about the subject in question. Biochemist, so she knows nothing about quantum mechanics. that you don't know how it works. And Kitchenzilla, just wait for this one. Just wait, for, you're not gonna believe it. that case. It's coming, don't how, worry. How does gut feelings sometimes being right prove anything he's just said? Here we go. And if you want to know what Ramtha is, it's a 35,000 year old god. That's who oh. she claims to be. Ramtha, channeled yeah, by that again. woman. Oh. Yeah, the subtitles oh. got in the way, but she actually, it, uh, it wasn't oh actually the God. woman who was talking. It's, it was a 35,000 year old God who was being channeled by her. Well, oh, good and she has a cult now, of worshippers. And I know, they're the ones who paid for this movie to be Beyond made. anything you would expect in. What's a, what's who's this person again? When the woman that was talking oh, a few minutes ago, she believes that she's the spirit of a thirty-five thousand-year-old god. Oh. So now we have channeling the spirit. The results I'm not are the sure same she believes way. that. I think it's very likely Jumping that she's shark, a fraud. The fridge and channeling Either the that spirit. or she is completely this is now a thing. insane. And, that, and just to say, that's why they didn't tell us who these people were till the very end. Yeah. So, oh, oh, that yeah. hurt. Don't ever watch that sober. Yeah, that's... Oh, I don't mind. I just want to know what the six hour version would be. Torture. It's... It will end up with me hanging from the rafters. So, uh, yeah, Zilla, we'll go to you first for your opinions on that. I don't. Oh, my dear God. <laughs> oh, God, my eyes. Just, uh, it had to end on the geometry as well, didn't it? That was just a complete bastardization of Flatland. Um, yeah, I I can't believe what I've just seen. Sorry, I'm in shock. And I've seen it before and I'm still in shock. Kitch. Um, I really heard that this film was made specifically for interrogations in Guantanamo Bay. And after seeing it, I would believe that. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I just refuse to believe anyone could be that cruel to a Guantanamo Bay detainee. <laughs> uh, Marty, your thoughts on that? Horribly stupid. No, uh, no value in, in terms of uh, physics education. Yeah, it's, uh, it's also just well everything they say is the wrong. way it kind of it starts with kind of the softer stuff and then it just gets 
more stupid and more stupid and more stupid as it gets on. And that the narrative bits. I don't know what the ending was all about. I've, I'm still not sure what happened to that deaf girl at all. No. I, I seem to recall that in the theatrical yeah. version, um, she throws away her medicine or something at like all. that. Is the theatrical version just more of the storyline bit? But I have no idea how the... Ah. Uh, yeah, it's just... I, you just, there's no words to describe how awful that was, I mean... I think so. Only, I mean, the only thing I can say it's less probably dangerous than Zeitgeist, I would say, in what it promotes. No. Or, I, I do that's up for debate. No one got anything to say? <laughs> oh, God, no. I mean, yeah, like I said, the, some of the special effects are no, nicely done, but... Oh, God almighty. By the stupid. I mean, all the special effects in the world can't hide what the hell's lurking behind us. So, I... Uh, Shall we finish it out? It's just the credits, and I don't think we've got the energy to keep. Because apparently there's still four more minutes of credits to go on this. <laughs> yeah, does anyone care at this point? No. See, they can't... Nope. Yes. No, I really don't care. So, uh, I don't know what to say. Um... If there's any other documentaries Everyone's or films you would like us to do a commentary on, and if, um, I say it just depends. The live pony just are good for, you know, things like your creationist documentaries and all that stuff. Like this doesn't suit the live pony, so. Yeah, um, I think we. We still, we do plan to do the principal at some point once no, the, the it's out on DVD. That, that's definitely on our list. And there's also that, that um, Matter of Faith film we've got to have a look at. But yeah, if there's oh, any yeah. just dumb films like this you want us to have a look at, then let us know. We can do a commentary or we can do a live ponage. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys have any in, come to mind? Seeds of Death. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Well, Matter of Faith is that the, one that was released last Kurt year, Cameron's, the evolution uh, v. creationism. Fiasco. Or was that the one you were talking about, Matter of Faith? Saving Christmas. Seeds of Death. Oh, okay. Seeds of Death. Okay, now I, I think it might be fun to do the, the Christmas thing. That... Seeds of Death, Kurt, you want to yeah. do that? Oh, yes. Okay, then we'll uh, put that I one to the list. I remember what then. it was called. I, I haven't seen it. I just think it, I don't know it about might be House of Numbers, laugh. maybe. That's probably another definitely... one. I think House of Numbers would just be us shouting because, as I've heard, that film is just really evil. Um, evil. Yeah, that's it. It's just horrific what that film endorses and wants. Mm -hmm. But it'd be good entertainment for the people who are watching you okay shall we wrap it up there guys uh if you've got any announcements take it away so i've Catch. got a video hopefully coming out this weekend about uh my cattle really uh we've got a couple of videos Ooh. coming up <laughs> oh it's hot and, and zilla Zilla? I'm a little busy at the moment. Oh, I've got yay. a hospital kind of stuff to do, um, an operation coming up, but then I'm going to be getting onto videos fairly soon after. Okay, so yeah. that's it. We hope you 
enjoyed that as little as we fucking enjoyed it. <laughs> well, it was terrible. <laughs> yeah, and believe it or not, we have managed to spin out all, all characters and incidents and names portrayed in this film. <laughs> uh, oh, look! Wait a minute. There's a, there was a disclaimer there that the scientists in this film don't necessarily agree with it. Yeah, everything in this... Yeah, agreement is not necessary. This Isn't that right at the documentary is fictional. <laughs> Put that on the screen. Hmm, that doesn't mean say anything about the quality of this film. No, of course not. By the way, this what you've seen may not actually be correct. We may yep. have just lied. Anyway, let's just finish this now. <laughs> Put, uh, put ourselves in it. Right, we'll see everyone yeah. later. Bye. Bye, internet. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Yeah, see ya. <laughs>